1,000 Palestinians and at least 43 Israeli soldiers are dead as the offensive in the Middle East rages on. It's now in its 20th day and there is no end in sight. Even though talks over terms for a temporary ceasefire continue, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country will do whatever is necessary to achieve its goal of sustained quiet. But others are blaming Israel for the conflict, saying the country treats Palestinians like subhuman species. And many people in Charlotte are showing their support for people involved in the conflict, be it on one side or the other. I know that today hundreds gathered at Romare Buren Park to really rally for folks in Israel. I know you were there. Casey, tell us about that. Well, despite the negative reason for the rally, you could say negative, the mood there today was generally very positive. The goal of most people really seemed to be the promotion of peace. Singing and prayer and people with a powerful message. Israel's our friend. Israel is the only democratic state that we have in the Middle East. Israel stands for peace. They're fighting a war right now against terrorism. We're here to say Israel is not just defending herself. She is being aggressive and oppressive to the Palestinians. That defense is actually an offense. To some it seems simple, one side against the other. But to many, it seems the only way to get what they want is to bring the two sides together. You don't negotiate with your friends, you negotiate with your enemies. Retired legislative assistant and proud Jew, Joel Siegel, says he believes us versus them puts everyone in a losing situation. Who's winning? But they're both victims of the same thing, and that's the lack of a permanent solution. Siegel says the first step towards a solution is clear. The Israelis have to gut to sit down with the Palestinian Authority. Congressman Robert Pittenger says today's rally for Israel is a way to let elected officials know that peace is the goal. Anything good that happens in this country is, is happened because the people got involved. But Daniel Nefe with the Palestinian American Community Center says a better understanding is necessary for change. And most Americans don't have a solid understanding of sides. It's impossible for anyone here to know exactly what is happening an ocean away, but that hasn't stopped people from all perspectives from coming together to show their support. Now, although not everyone there agreed with each other, supporters of both sides voiced their support for their people in a very peaceful way. Sue Worrell from the Jewish Federation of Greater Charlotte says she hopes another rally like this won't be necessary, but if the conflict continues, they will plan to publicly show their support again. Obviously, there are plenty of people talking about this on social media.